Hey guys, and welcome back to Minecraft! We're on the shores of Lake Pizzazz looking over Misaligned and Mad Frank's uh, bases over there, but mainly I've been hanging out at my spider spawner. I've been down here collecting XP for my uh, various items with mending, but also as a nice side effect, creating a fair bit of string. Also as another side effect to that, it means that I can make an awful lot of fishing rods. Now, fishing rods are very interesting items. I'm not sure if you guys are aware that they are one of the few things in the game that kind of gives you a distance reach. If I throw the bread on the floor, I can use the fishing rod to pull it towards me. And this has given me an idea for a mini game. I'm sure the majority of you out there are going to be several steps ahead of me if I come down here and throw down some ice. Now, ice sounds like a great idea to go with a pulling mini game, but if I pop this down there, there is a single big problem. If I go and cast out my rod and give it a pull, you can see actually it goes distance. And if I was to put something like 10 bits of ice down, that would be the distance it travels. Now, that sounds like a good thing, but for the scale of mini game that I've got in mind, that's a little bit too much. So in my little box over here, I have collected a whole bunch of stuff. As you can see, I've got a whole bunch of fishing rods, some dies to be pucks, and a whole a bunch of stuff to be a mechanism for launching. I'd like you to join me over at Shade Twitchy. Hey, it's me under the helmet. I've uh, spread a few of the banners around over in the nether out here, just to give an indication of what this tunnel does. Uh, I really need to actually completely reorientate this place to walk forwards out of the portal on the other side of this portal, you know, the one in the overworld. I actually need to walk in in this direction, which, given the layout of all the roads around here, is obviously the most awkward one that it could possibly be. But why wouldn't it have been the most awkward one it could possibly be? <laughs> Come to the tenth first match. You may serve if you like. Uh, we'll see how this goes down here. I think this is going to be quite an interesting game. Okay, they are away, maybe? All right, here we go, here we go. First match is away. We've got Mad Frank versus Misaligned. Two people that I have been down in the mines deeply with recently, trying to collect some items for a good buddy and friend, but we will talk about that. Oh, the play is intense. They're pinging back and forth. He's lost his rod. His rod is broken. He's found a second one, and he is good. Game! <laughs> <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Well, welcome back to Shade Twitchy. It is a huge tournament going on down here right now. As I say, I have been down in the mines with my friends over there because we have been noticing a bit of an issue just outside this window. You might notice that there is a building out there, a building that is lacking some cladding. Now, this is one of Headcrab's buildings, and Headcrab's actually been a very active player on the server. He's been off uh, about 6,000 blocks away, building a very nice base out in the, the sandstone regions. Uh, and I think this might be a clue to actually what's going on here. Sandstone, turns out, is quite a plentiful resource, whereas Andesite itself, not so much. Uh, Headcrab does have a habit of asking if anybody's got any Andesite, and I uh, did a little bit of a question round... Uh, did some did some numbers, crunched some the uh, crunched some blocks, and decided that really we need to help a brother out here because man, there are a lot of blocks needed. Just using the andesite alone, we need to get him roughly six thousand blocks. That's because from that level there up to there is something like a hundred and forty blocks. Hundred and forty blocks just to fill one line in. And look, three of those per pillar, something like seventy five pillars. Yeah, we, we need to help him out. So yesterday evening, me and Miss Alone, we went out and we went into the mines deep under here. We faced perilous issues, creepers and dark spawners and big drops and 
digging around in places we've seen before. Of course, this means we've got no... Well, I say no minerals. We, we found a lot of iron and stuff in the background. But look at all these chests we've got here. Roughly, by my calculation, there are about... a. 8,000 blocks here if all the chests were filled. Uh, and that should be more than enough to help uh, help head crab out over there. So I am going to slowly, one by one, move these chests over to his area. Okay, the game seems to have stopped over here. I forgot to mention whilst I was here, I am now offering bounties for music discs. If you've got the name of any of these diamonds, come along, put, a, put the disc in there, take your two diamonds, get yourself a little bit of profit. But I'm going to jump up and over here now. As I say, I'm going to take these over to head crab. Uh, and give the, the man a little leg up here. Uh, you know, it, it's something that happens to all of us. We all bite off a little bit more than we can chew occasionally, especially when it's like the start of a server, and we're like, oh, yeah, I want to want to build big. I want to make a nice impression. I am on the wrong side of the fence. Uh, thankfully, he has allowed for this. If I just come in here, uh, there are empty chests everywhere. So this first stack of chests right here, I am going to fill up with andesite. There's, there's bad guys here. How, how are they bad guys here? Let's uh, let's go and have a look around. Where where are they actually spawning in? Look at this. Look at this. I've got a feeling. Let's have a quick look. That up here, look, block level of three. Ooh, okay, not the best aesthetically, but no spawns. Right, that's the weather turned nasty, and a few of the many delivered. I need to now make a next pit stop off over. Ah, oh, it's so great when the weather is bad and ah. Oh. I need to make a pit stop, as I say, over at the water monument because uh, I want to show you guys what's been going on. There we go. Flight can happen. <laughs> the guardian farm build to bring you some witch huttery we are down underneath the witch hut made up myself an ill mango legit tunnel bore 
But obviously, I've got an awful lot of TNT, and I can go and get as much sand as I ever want. And they all mango at the uh, right the. Sorry, at the release of 1.14, went, hey, this new TNT mechanic where you get all the drops that you blow up, that's great. But that's not the, the announcement I want to make to you right now. No, I found something that's a little bit rare in Minecraft. Yes, indeed, something that I have not actually seen a natural gen for in my entire time. I've been playing this game since these things came out. Yeah, you can see it behind me. That's right. We have got a fossil. Oh, man, this is the first time... I have ever actually found a fossil out in the wild. I think I need to preserve it somehow. Maybe dig out all the uh, the stone around it and encase it in glass. I also want to have a quick look over here, see how we are doing. If we come up thuswards, we should be able to see that we are maybe on the other side of the swamp now. Oh, yeah, cool. Cool. I think the witch hut, probably just there. Okay, swimming is long. We came out of the canyon down there. Can I take off today? Here is the question. Yes, I can. And the witch hut should be just on the other side. No, 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 not over there. My bad. It is just over here. Okay, so we've done along this edge. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Then, then what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the tunnel ball around, do a double wide one, and then start doing a whole b bunch of them coming out over this way. And then I'll take out all the diamond layers underneath, because, you know, we want to take the uh, the niceties out. Uh, and then I'm going to set up what's called the World Eater, where we dupe a bunch of TNT and have some flying machines to take care of the war. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. But I really only just wanted to share with you that I... Oh, that I found a fossil! Ooh. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but sometimes I can be a little bit silly with my time. I want to talk about that, but first I want to talk about this! Look at this! Alright, 3.2 thousand gates. Man, that's a lot of gates. It's only like 2,000 birch and like a thousand of the, the uh, spruce and... It just kind of trickles down from there to just a couple of hundred of the jungle. But man, look at it. It is looking amazing. This is going to be the bottom floor for our water spawning cube. But of course, with a water spawning cube, we need to uh, put some edging on it. We actually need to um, segment it up into smaller areas so they don't actually just swim around in the inside as well. But with that... I've gone out, I've gone collected all of this sand, even a whole shulker box full of sand, worn down through my uh, through my shovel, my high efficiency shovel. I'm just going to quickly slam a few things down over here. I've got to put one of these like this, beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware you can uh, put a whole bunch of fuel in the side just like that. Uh, I'm also going to put a chest up here, a chest on the side of it if I can, and then I want to put another hopper here. Uh, come, come on, let's do it. Okay, beautiful. Now, on the hopper, I'm going to put the shulker box. Bam, okay, cool. And in my chest over here, we should have a whole bunch of coal. I'm going to turn this into as many stacks as I can make. I've got I got more. i got more, but right now, that should be enough. But the reason that I'm a little bit of an idiot is because I've gone around, I've worn through my pickaxe, I've done all these things, but of course, uh, there's, there's a lot of sand right here, more, more, more than I went and gathered anyway. <laughs> Anyway, let's not get too distracted by that, because I now need to lay another 3.2 thousand blocks. I probably actually want to go down one block, don't I? Uh, so that we can put in a roof. It's not just a roof. It's going to be the thing that I lay all the water on before we then take out that one layer underneath. Uh, put the, the glass in after that, I will. Yoda, speak, I do. Yeah, according to that water spillage I just made to get down a few layers, we are exactly over the top of that block there. So if I come over one here and do that and then put us a wall up there, this is the structure we need to build. Now, uh, I'm not sure if you guys are aware, this is a 57 by 57 square. 57 doesn't have a bunch of uh, divisors. If I'm to be honest, it's got 319 and, oh, and another one that I've forgotten about. None of which are actually all that useful if I wanted to segment this up. I could do little 3 by 3s In fact, it wouldn't be 3 by 3s It would be 2 by 2s because the third block would be this. I don't think that's going to be the way we do it. So let's go for 6s because it's 3s. If it, if the 3s are there, 6s have to be there, right? Is that a thing? We'll go and uh, work along that one. So we'll get uh, an internal space of 5 uh, and then, yeah, 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 that's going to work out really well, actually. Okay, I've just realised this top layer of cobble here is actually going to be a permanent structure, so we need to uh, make that out of something nicer. Possibly some prismarine? Yeah, let's go and do that. But one, two, three, four, five internal space and the wall. And all I need to do is just repeat this out now. Whew, a couple of hundred times. 
for the sake of illustration, I'm going to put that water source in the corner there. I'm going to grab this one as well and just go through and fill this up so you guys can see what it is exactly that I'm doing. That should have filled it all up nicely for us. Uh, and then I could just start knocking out the, the, the blocks underneath and it gets to uh, have water going all the way down. And more importantly, it is a downwards flowing source so we can get the guardians when they brush up against the wall to fill a downwards force and drag them out of the area. Oh, look, it's so good. Even a water spillage... Oh, no, 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 no. I can't take this. Go away. Don't stop. <laughs> even a water spillage... Well, that was that was an uncalled un, uh, for amount of panic there. But even a water spillage will spill a guardian out. So this is going to be an amazing farm. Okay, just found out why six is not a factor of uh, 57. Because you end up with the odd three. You know what? I'm not that bothered by that. I've brought up a whole bunch of dark prismarine. Uh, and I'm going to do that around the outside edge. A little 3x3 three three in this corner over here, and then everything else should be 6x6s. Six sixes. I'm not sure what's going to be over there. I mean, that might might work out. You never know. I mean, to, to be fair, the more mathematically minded out of there already know. Sometimes I can forget how much of a time commitment some of these projects can be, but finding out different ways of doing things, like using the double hands for the buckets, sure does help. Incidentally, if you're using a bucket, let's just empty these two out over here. When you refill with one, you need to swap hands, else you'll just empty the bucket. Uh, it turns out that emptying the bucket from your main hand takes priority there. But we're getting very close to being completely done here. and ready, well, I say completely done, ready to put the glass walls in. The whole time that I've been here, there's been a little furnace set up burning away over there. It's going to have made a fair dent into the number of glass blocks we need, but it's not going to be the maximum that we need. Thankfully, I have done some various tradings over time, gunpowder for glass mainly, so I... It keeps doing this, giving me my, my two buckets. There we go. Uh, so I actually have a fair bit of glass ready to go. Uh, the only thing I'm trying to decide is, do I put glass underneath the prismarine? Because technically it's not necessary. The guys can just kind of like fall down the hole. But also, you know, looks good, right? Oh, uh, yeah, looks good. I am missing a few bits of sea lanterns over there. That's no problem, though, because we're making a guardian farm. Had you not heard? Well, and the time it's taken me to do all of that, and that's been about an hour, maybe two, it's cooked this much up. We definitely need more fern eye on the go. We could, we could make that a thing quite easily. Put another one there, another hopper, bigly bam, we've got more going. Uh, but, yeah, as I say, I need to figure out what I'm going to be doing with this glass because m mostly it's going to be coming down uh, in a line with all of this. But of course there are, yeah, I thought it was right there, uh, this sort of setup. And I think we want to have glass like this, but this obviously uh, increases the number of glass needed like immensely, absolutely hugely. And also look at that jagged edge over there. Kind of cool, kind of not. I'll be honest with you, when I swapped to this front-facing camera, this was not the view I expected to have, because right in front of me, there's an awful lot of lava there. Hey, welcome to a grotto under the water. I've got to say, there's a couple of situations where shaders really do not excel. Both underground and underwater are those two things, but down I had to go because I needed some lava. I got a level with you. This job is a lot bigger than I originally anticipated. I thought we were just going to throw like a curtain around the outside and that would be enough. But the more I thought about it, the more I was like, well, the Guardians are just going to jump uh, uh, back and forth between the columns of water. They're not going to drop down. It's going to be horrendous. So I've started putting in the glass in between the columns as well. And this has obviously expanded the job by uh, at a rough calculation 30 fold because there's a lot of lot of walls there something like 16 walls on a side what is going on with the shaders there uh, i've gone and grabbed a couple of dispensers well i had to say that misaligned grabbed a couple of dispensers i went and grabbed the buckets of lava uh to put a little death trap down like a little death pit it it goes down pretty far pretty far all the way down uh as far as would kill a player but of course guardians they have more health than that i'm not sure whether this will be a uh, deep enough uh we've got some hoppers as i say lava up there this this should work but I will, ooh, look, we've been uh, losing some stuff there grab that but i will be down here with a sword just in case but i wanted i wanted to uh, show you the view of what happens when we start the water flowing because of course you know this entire process is about videos after all so let's go and get a decent bit of video Ah, 
try and it works, but man, it takes a little bit of time to get there. But you can see that we've got a whole bunch of prismarine crystals, and that is what we're after. Uh, the footage was alright, it wasn't quite as great as I was hoping for. We had to wait around for them to spawn for a very long time, like the majority of a Minecraft day. I'm not sure what was up with that. It's not like we didn't know that we had to be distance away and stuff like that, but that's... That's where we were. You can see that I've been wearing away my pickaxe down here, but that's because I want to try and figure out how we want the water to be flowing down here. And I've got a rough idea of how it's going to be going. We've got this nice little diagonal flow headed towards the center. But I've got to be honest with you guys, as I have been throughout this episode, this glass smelting project... It's uh, it's very much more. Oh no! Yeah, it's very much more work than I originally anticipated, and little things that are coming up that I didn't didn't really think about at all. Over here, you can see that the fern eye is silent, and it's not because of the lack of sand that we are starting to run out. Big thanks to Misaligned and Mad Frank for coming along and uh, helping me dig up another desert for that. Whew. And of course, the sand over here was collected mainly by Decipher and Destiny's Dragon. But yeah, the problem that I've got right now is I'm running out of burnables. I've already been begging off of the majority of the server. Wise gave me an entire stack of coal blocks. Boom, it was just gone in an afternoon. Just gone. Just gone. Uh, I've I've now got no coal left myself, or a barrel full of charcoal that I had, gone. Uh, so it's it's going to take a little while, but I'm afraid with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sorry that it was a little bit shorter than normal today. That is because mainly I've been cooking sand. There, there's only so much you can do whilst cooking sand and talking to the camera, and I'm sure you guys didn't want to see too much of just the same thing over and over. I tell, tell you something that we do want to do quickly together is I'm going to come across here and uh, grab a bunch of these. Just been going around uh, as we've been making them, replacing these torches with sea lanterns where I can. Not only does it stop stuff spawning up top here, but uh, I also like the look of it, you know? It's just a really nice aesthetic feature. Lights up the underside. and it, Like, the underside doesn't really need to be lit up, but it's just nicer. But yeah, as I say, I'm sorry that I don't have the entire episode as we normally do. I know this is technically a full-length full episode, but I feel like it's been relatively short. Uh, I will see you next time when we're going to, amongst other things, figure out this fount... Uh, funnel underneath and then he said fountain there oh man fountain of guardians would be great you spit them up the middle ah oh, i mean that that that's an idea isn't it we could push everything into the middle and then have a water column going up and that's where you that's not what we're doing we're gonna let them drop down in the middle but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye